you've asked about Madeleine Tien. Yes, we are going to be meeting with Madeleine Tien. And I'm actually going to read out loud what you have written anonymously. No one will ever know who wrote it. And that is how uh, I've had the privilege of doing this for 22 years. Please reread this once again and give us your working definition of pity. Everything that you read is from Madeleine Tien. You just don't know where it's from in Madeleine Tien. Every book, every dictionary, every encyclopedia, these are not abstractions, they are written by people. So why don't we go straight to the horse's mouth? We'll go through the writings of Madeleine Tien and then speak with her in person about this. So that's, uh, yeah, everything we do is from Madeleine Tien and we're gonna sit down one-on-one -on -one with her and talk about it. We're looking at texts of Madeleine Tien in, in religious studies and in other fields. This is referred to as text reception. In other words, how are each one of you receiving this text? You've all got the same script. You're all reading from the same page. But I can guarantee you from, for, from doing this for 23 years, every single one of you is going to interpret this differently. And it's the same words, it's the same writer, it's the same text. That's because you're all going to receive it differently. So we're, ex we're leading an experiment here. We're conducting an experiment in text reception. And you're going to get to actually check it out with the author themselves. This is why I call it a dialogic session. Creating a space where your imagination can dialogue with that of the author. Now, in all, in all fairness here, I'm, of course, referencing Mikhail Bakhtin, the great Russian literary critic, and his concept of the dialogic imagination. And what fascinates me is the interstice between the text, the mind, the mind of the author, the text, and the mind of the reader. And it's in that interstice that the dialogue, the dialogic, phenomena takes place.